So you're wondering how this works. First, I'm gonna randomly generate a character, Luigi. Then I'm gonna spin an arrow, which it pointed up. Um, there's no one up. Downright. So as you can see, Lucina is downright of Luigi. So I'm gonna put him in a battle, and the winner takes the loser space. Dude, we're fixing to have a zero to death on the very first match. Ah. These two were pretty neck and neck, but Luigi took that a little too seriously and killed Lucina with his neck. So now Luigi has Lucina's space. That's how this concept works, and the fighter that takes over the entire roster wins. Sonic, up left. That's Mewtwo. Sonic got an early lead, but then Mewtwo came in and said I'm not getting first rounded. Then he got first rounded. Sonic wins. Ryu down right. Hero. Our first third party matchup. This was the battle of high percentages. Ryu lived until 170 and Hero until 210. Then Hero started doing hero things and took out Ryu with whack. This is actually a really close match. I'm sure it'll have a really good ending. Let's see. Ryu starts attacking the air and Hero knocks him out with kaboom. Absolute cinema. What can I say? Now this is where things get interesting. If Greninja wins, he takes all of Sonic's space. Let's just say there was lots of spin dashing in this match. This was actually really close. Greninja tried countering but failed, got kicked to the other side of the stage, grabbed Sonic and... there was no escaping that. Sir, we're surrounded. Good, now we can PK fire in all directions. <laughs> Wolf has an opportunity to take all of Hero Space right now. And he just took all of Hero Space. And without looking, what a legend. Anyone else hoping to see Wolf vs. Wario? Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first three stock. Terry freaking Bogard. Calling it right now, he's gonna go on a big win streak, then lose to like Banjo Kazooie or someone like that. Okay, what are the chances I generate Banjo right after I say that? Man, I really wanted that arrow to face Terry. But before this match, this is what the roster looks like right now. Yep, that, that's it. Nothing crazy has happened yet. In fact, the only reason I'm saying this is so you can see the roster before I get rid of it in three, two. <laughs> Wait a second. Bottom right of Terry is me, Gunner, who is now owned by Banjo-Kazooie. I predicted Terry will get taken out by Banjo. Now let's see it. I underestimated Terry's abilities. To be fair though, he nearly gave up a big lead. Okay, now let's slow down a bit. This is what the roster is looking like so far. I'd say Terry's in the lead, but that does not matter at all. Me Swordsman can come in and take all of that if he wanted to. We could see a battle of the Star Fox characters later on. Luigi won the first match and has done literally nothing since then. And a good chunk of the left side has been completely untouched. Alright, let's see how the rest plays out. Disney versus Minecraft. Sora won. Dude, that's three times Terry has or nearly has three stuck his opponent. He might actually win this whole thing. Dude, I just love it when a character that hasn't even played before comes in and eliminates someone who's won multiple matches. So much for Luigi winning by doing absolutely nothing. Okay, Pichu has the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever and take everything away from Falco. And he literally just started destroying Falco right off the bat. Electric is super effective against Falco's ego. Villager, finally my main, and he's fighting Wolf. Falco and Wolf really had all this space only to lose it to a baby and a kid, is what I would say if Villager won. Oh, now we're talking. Battle of the Pikachus. Even my Switch was fixing to fall asleep to that long match, but Pichu wins. ROB versus Shulk. Oh, ROB off to a quick start. Oh, ROB gets ledge guarded. Oh, but ROB responds with an up air. Okay, I'll I'll stop saying ROB. Shulk wins. Anyone else vision that? <laughs> Meta Knight vs Ice Climbers. Holy cow, dude, Donkey Kong came out of nowhere. For the first time in history, we have the very original matchup of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I'm as surprised as everyone else.
Oh my goodness. Of all people, it's freaking me, Sword Fighter Vault Boy, that takes out Terry. Look at this. Such a beauty. By complete chance, we have two Pokemon battling in a Pokemon map that's gonna be the main focus in the next Pokemon game. Now we have a big matchup incoming Mario versus DDD. Whoever wins this matchup is gonna have a ton of space land, roster spots, whatever. This was supposed to be an insane and really close match, but DDD got an early lead and just straight up three stocked. And King DDD immediately loses everything. Simon Belmont comes out of the shadows and takes a quarter of the roster. And now Samus just took a ton of space. What? And now Cloud just took all of Pichu's space. What is happening? This is what the roster looks like now. What? Cloud vs. Me Sword Fighter could be a crazy matchup, and six characters haven't even played a single game so far. It's also funny how the left side has a ton of characters with small pieces of the roster, while the right side is almost completely dominated by four characters. Okay, let's continue. Samus, down right. Eh, I would say that's going into Cloud's territory. Cloud immediately just started dominating. Samus quickly answered though, then she missed a forward air and got knocked out. But that's fine because the up smash KOs, so now we're tied with each fighter having one stock left. Cloud was wearing Samus down and she was just struggling to keep up. At first I was thinking this was gonna be a miraculous comeback by Samus, but no, no, I was way off. The next matchup was Kazuyo vs Incineroar. Okay, Kazuyo's got some sick animations, which apparently translates to skill because he was destroying Incineroar. That and his recovery sends himself into the abyss. Kazuya finished him off by stunning him, then up smashing him into Pokemon Legend Z, which is why Incineroar is a starter in that game. Krom vs Cloud. Now we're at the point where we have characters on complete opposite sides of the roster fighting each other. Dude, Cloud just refuses to lose. He probably has the biggest win streak of any character so far. Oh, finally, one of the characters who hasn't played yet. Robin vs Kazuya. This match was really close entering the final stock. There was kicking, punching, green boomerangs, and HP stealing. I have absolutely no idea what just happened, but Robin wins. Now we have an original 12 battle. Imagine having to win several matches to get to this point, and then a 13 year old kid who hasn't played a single match spawns in and eliminates you by spamming. Now we're talking Cloud vs Wolf. Whoever wins this is gonna have like half the roster. This match is so insane it made my OBS freeze. Man, these characters gotta stop letting Cloud fill up his limit. He may actually win it all. Cloud literally cannot rest, now he's fighting Game & Watch. It'd be so poetic if this game ends with a lucky night, and of course as I type this for the script, Game & Watch gets a lucky night. This game was neck and neck. Does Game & Watch have a neck? Doesn't matter. Oh man, Cloud would have died right there, but Game & Watch saved him. We got people flying everywhere. Game & Watch stopped Cloud's recovery, but then he came back and... Poor Game & Watch. Finally, Steve. Now, obviously we all want Steve to win. Well, unless you're a competitive player. But he was honestly getting destroyed, including by his own TNT. Okay, my guy is literally just standing there instead of mining. Well, this sucks. Well, if it isn't Mr. Half the Roster, down. So, as you can see, there's nothing down from Simon. However, he has King DDD space, which Pac-Man is under. That might be a bit of a stretch, but I'm counting it. See, this is why I love Smash Bros. Imperialism. Pac-Man has been sleeping this entire video, and now, look at this. I will admit, though, this was a really close battle until Pac-Man kicked Simon into the back rooms. It's all on the legs. The Ice Climbers have a chance to take out the most dominant fighter of the video so far. Keyword chance. Cloud essentially three stocks. This guy's terrifying. Okay, break time. This is what the roster looks like now, except now it looks like a weather forecast. Some sun with plenty of clouds. There's 11 fighters left. Little Mac and Link literally haven't done anything. If one of them wins, this entire video will be a joke. Right now I'm pulling for Olimar to win, cause Pikmin. Who, who do you think's gonna win? Type a comment. I'll wait. Okay, let's go. We're officially in the final stretch. Byleth, top. Oh, Little Mac finally sees some action. The two exchanged stocks to begin the match. Hmm. This is sounding like a personal finance video. But then Little Mac took a comfortable lead when he took out Byleth at only 27. Mac got the kill screen on the knockout punch, but it didn't kill Byleth, who came back angry. And in true Little Mac fashion, he gets too far out in the air and fails to recover. Next matchup, the Pac-Man... The Pac- Why is- It says The Pac-Man. The first stocks were pretty lengthy, but then Richter chained Pac-Man from across the stage. Richter was at kill percent, but he was not going down easy. He ended up taking Pac-Man out again. Actually, Pac-Man took himself out, but apparently Pac wasn't the only one failing to recover. Wait a second, Richter just fell short again. Could Pac-Man actually... Never mind. What is it with Castlevania characters taking over the far left side of the map? Next was Robin up into Olimar. Oh no, this is a bad start for Pikmin fans. But don't worry, Olimar responded then died again. Honestly, Robin was bullying Olimar this entire match. He got the kill screen, which Olimar survived, and then he got the kill screen again, which Olimar did not survive. Did anyone actually think Olimar was gonna win at all? <laughs> anyone? And now the battle of Kingdom Hearts characters. This one was really close. Eventually Cloud got the lead, but Sora immediately responded. It literally can't get any closer than this. The two just kept equally exchanging attacks. Sora pulled a classic triple keyblade attack, but when Cloud was trying to get back to the stage, Sora upbeat him into the blast zone. Wow. Cloud has finally been defeated, and Sora was probably the perfect character to take him down. 
other than Sephiroth, of course, but he got first rounded. But Sora's dominance may not last long because Link immediately challenged him right after his victory. Normally, this would be the part where I explain what happened in the match, but I'm an idiot and accidentally recorded myself typing the script instead of the actual game screen. Sora won though. And then there were six. Ness top left. I would say that's definitely Sora. Battle of the Fire Spammers. They were both off to a close start, but then Sora countered Ness's yo-yo. Ness tried to retaliate by spamming PK Thunder, a very Ness-like move, but turns out you don't need to spam a PK move to win as Ness. And then he got countered again. Sora had a comfortable lead, but Ness wore him down and KO'd him with an up tilt, so now they were both at one stock. They kept exchanging moves until Ness tried forward airing Sora, who parries it into an up B and finishes him off. This is the first match that actually got my heart racing. This ending's gonna be crazy, so Sora's gonna be playing again, this time to the right, which is pretty safely me sword fighter. The first round of stocks took a while as they both got to a high percentage, but then they exchanged KOs. Then they did the exact same thing again, so now they're both at one stock. They were both getting pressure on each other, but Sora had the slight edge. Me sword fighter started spamming tornadoes, and I genuinely thought Sora was about to self destruct right there. Then Sora a tilt attacked it into an up air which got the kill screen but it didn't kill. They both missed each other with range attacks but then Sword Fighter came in and up smashed Sora at the perfect time. Are we seriously about to have a me win the first ever smash imperialism? Well we might find out pretty soon. Arrow pointing down left. One could argue Richter but that's definitely Robin. As usual both fighters were off to pretty even starts. That is until Robin hopped off the ledge and up aired Sword Fighter. This is the part where I say me answered back but Robin was on fire. He had all the momentum and took out Sword Fighter again at over 140. Now this is the part where I say me answers back. He comboed Tornado into an up tilt to KO Robin for the first time. And then somehow he takes him out again, no way. But unfortunately for Sword Fighter, he was already at a pretty high percentage, so Robin easily finished him off. Man, that giant piece in the middle is being thrown around like a shoe in band class. Did anyone else experience that? No? Okay. The final three. Richter. Oh wow, he's fighting Robin. What better way to start off a match than by zero to deathing your opponent? Robin's gone absolutely mad. What is happening? We may actually witness a three stock in the semi-final or not. And you can't make this stuff up, Richter just knocked out Robin again. All of a sudden, this is a one-stock game. Similar to me, Sword Fighter, though, in fact, exactly like me, Sword Fighter, Richter was just at too high of a percentage to make a comeback. What a game, though. And so after 89 characters, and however many matches there were, I'll put it on screen, the final fight is here. And of course, it's between two Fire Emblem characters, that is the most Smash Bros thing I've ever seen. Robin's comically large empire versus Violet's four spaces. Let's go. Both characters were off to a Fire Emblem start. They both got to a high percentage until Violet pulled the up B and said die. And no, Robin did not respond. Byleth got another KO. Okay, now Robin responded. I'm also quickly realizing Final Destination would have been a perfect stage for this match. And the absurdly powerful down B finishes Robin off. Wow. Honestly, that was a little anticlimactic. But regardless, Byleth just won the first ever Smash Bros. Imperialism. My guy played like three matches and still won. Subscribe.